Hey everyone, Sodor Railway Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing my Q&A video, which I posted not too long ago, and you guys asked me loads of questions, so I'm gonna hope to get through them all in this video. So without further ado, let's get started! So the first few questions come from my good friend Alfin the YouTuber. They are, first one is, thoughts on versus mashups, like the Sonic ones. I really like the, the versus mashups, they, they seem like a really good idea, so I, I, I really like them, personally. I, I, see, I think they have quite a few, quite a lot of potential. Next question, have you ever considered watching Killer Bean Forever? I am hoping to at some point, but I've not found the time to at the moment, but I am hoping to. Uh, next question he has, favourite Sonic ships, plus any same gender ones you like. There's only really one same gender Sonic ship I'm actually properly into that, I've, that has grown on me, and it's probably Rouge X Amy. It's not my favourite one, but I still. I, it's grown on me. Um, actual favourite Sonic ships, though, include Son Amy, for obvious reasons, uh, Nuxuge, Sylvays, Tail Zoe, and. Um, I think that's probably about it. Or, well, Vector X Vanilla is a good ship as well, I think, so. yeah. Next question. Have you ever considered writing a story for Sonic or anything? I'm hoping to, but um, only time will tell on that one. Question 5. Will you make a movie spoof? As much as I do like the idea, I don't think that's ever going to happen because, for one thing, my laptop is very pernickety about storage space. Um, but, and also, I don't really... Um, I don't really know any, like, safe sites where you can download proper films in good quality, so it, as much as I do like the idea, I'm not quite sure if it will happen. Plus, I, it depends on my college and college schedule and all. Uh, question number six. The best and worst casting choices you've ever seen? I'm assuming you're talking about in parodies, and in which case, one of the best casting choices for me um, is a Thomas Minecraft story mode parody cast choice, and that is James as Ivor. I, I think they really, like, they, they, they are perfectly in common with each other, they have a lot in common. Worst? I don't really know if I downright hate any casting choices, unless you count Edward as Shadow for Sonic parodies, that one really doesn't work. Um, and finally, his last question, if Sonic and Amy were to get together, what could you imagine happening? Oh, I don't know, maybe like a romantic walk on the beach or something, I suppose? Because, I mean, Amy enjoys romance and all that, so... Um, probably something like that. Uh, the next questions come from... Mascot the MSC Tank Engine. And his first question, what was the first Thomas episode you ever watched? I think it was either Thomas and the Tuba or Thomas and the Firework Display. I can't remember which one. It was definitely from season 8 though, but... Um, it was either one of those two, but I can't remember which one, because I used to watch them on Hit Entertainment Children's Favourites DVDs. Uh, question number two, have you ever been to Thomas Land at Drayton Manor before? Yes, I have. I've been there quite a lot of times. I haven't been there recently. Um, I don't, I don't, can't remember the last time I went, but I have been before quite a lot of times. Uh, question number three: What's your favourite Make Way for Noddy episode? Probably Noddy in the Naughty Box. I, I, I like that episode. But yeah, I'll go with that one. And next question is another Noddy question: Who's your favourite Noddy character? Big Ears. It is Big Ears. I love Big Ears. Uh, question 5. Have you ever been to any Day Out with Thomas events before? If so, where and when was it? I have been to a Day Out with Thomas event once. It was at the Didcot Railway Centre. Um, when it was, I can't quite remember. Um, but I think it was probably in the summer of 2018, from what I remember. And his last question, which movie are you the most excited to see this year? Probably Sonic the Hedgehog 3, because um, I really enjoy the Sonic movies as it is. 
and um, I'm just, I cannot wait for it, like, it's, the hype is just insane. Uh, next questions come from Stuart Barkley, and his first question, what's your favourite Rory the Racing Car episode? Probably Blue Light Job, I think. Yeah, Blue Light Job. Uh, his next question. What's your opinion on The Great Race? I like The Great Race. I think it's a pretty good Thomas movie. Um, of course, there are better films from Thomas out there. The Great Race is pretty good, too. What? Question three. What is the most underrated era of Thomas? I'd say the hit era. I think, because there are some genuinely great episodes in the hit era, mainly in season 9, I think, and um, season 11 as well are some pretty good episodes, and season 12. Question 4. Do you like Winnie the Pooh? I like to think that I do, but I've just not watched that much of it, so um, I think I'm a bit uncultured, actually. Question 5. Which Disney movies do you prefer, the sequels or live-action remakes? It depends, really, because um, not all the live-action remakes, I think, are that great. When they're, when they're good, they're really good. Stuff like The Lion King 2, um, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, and... Um, the Aladdin remake was also really good, and the Jungle Book remake, too. I thought the Jungle Book remake was better than the original, actually. So, yeah, I, I, I don't really have a preference on Disney sequels or live-action remakes, honestly. Question 6. What is your favourite Top Gear moment? I would have to say the hover van. Like, the hover van episode is just hilarious. What is your favourite BWBA or Wubba era episode? Probably the Great Little Railway Show. And question 8. What is your least favourite Disney movie? Oh, gosh. I mean, one comes to mind, it's probably Chicken Little. I'm not saying I hate Chicken Little, but it's just not that great. Plus, Buck Clock is the worst dad ever. But uh, everyone can agree on that. Uh, question 9. Super Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic. Sonic. All the way. I like them both, but I've always preferred Sonic. And his last question, have you seen or watched My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? Only a few clips, only a few clips, I haven't watched a full episode yet. And the next questions come from the Sudrian A0, favourite Thomas episode from the classic hit and CGI age. Favourite classic episode is Henry's Forest, which is my favourite episode of all time. Favourite hit episode, probably Thomas and the Birthday Mail. And favourite CGI episode is Duncan and the Grumpy Passenger. Um, question 2. Have you seen or watched Hamtaro? No, I haven't. Um, I might do at some point, even though I'm not a big anime person, but I might check it out. Uh, question 3. Favourite Theodore Tugboat episode? Theodore and the Boat Bully. Thoughts on Cars as a movie series? Personally, I love Cars. I think it's a really good franchise. Even the second one. I think the second one gets way too much hate. Uh, next questions come from Spencer Murphy. Question 1. What is your cast for Thomas Sonic and the Secret Rings parodies? I've not played Sonic and the Secret Rings, so I don't have a cast for it, unfortunately. Apart from obvious ones like Thomas and Sonic, etc. Question 2. What Disney DVDs do you have? Way too many to list, I'm afraid. <laughs> what voices are perfect for Molly in the UK and US dubs if she returned for the CGI series? I would say Emma Tate, probably. What did you get for Christmas 2023? I've got a Sonic movie plushie, a movie Sonic plushie, um, a new wallet, and a Sonic duvet. Do you have any Bob the Builder DVDs? Yes, I do, but I don't have very many. What voices for Thomas in the US dub could have been better? Maybe both of them. I feel like Joseph May was alright, but Martin Sherman I'm not a big, big fan of. What are your favourite singers? Or who are your favourite singers, rather? Um, I have quite a few, actually. I'd say Elton John is definitely on that list. Um, see who else? Um, Beatles I quite like. I listen to the Beatles sometimes. Uh, Britney Spears. 
as well. I, I like Britney Spears. Other than that, I don't know. What is your cast for Thomas Jungle Junction parodies? I'll have to re-watch some Jungle Junction to do make a cast because um, I've not watched it in a while, but I do have an idea of what I could my cast could be, because I know for a fact I'd probably have James as Bungo. Uh, question 9. What are some of the best Thomas parodies you've done yet? I can never decide which, which parodies are some of my favourites, honestly, I'm afraid. What voices could have been so cool for James in the US dub of Thomas and Friends? Seth MacFarlane, I guess? Just imagine James having Quagmire's voice, wouldn't that be something? And the last questions come from Truckfan. What's your favourite Sonic game? I haven't played a lot, but in terms of ones I've actually played, I'd probably say Sonic Forces Speed Battle. What inspired you to start YouTube? Um, mainly just seeing people do, like, parodies on YouTube and videos and do, like, reviews. Um, people like the Thomas Cynic and the Yellow Striker. And also people like Alf and the YouTuber who do, do great parodies. Um, he, was, he was my main inspiration to do parodies, actually. What's your favourite and least favourite Thomas special? My favourite is The Great Discovery, and my least favourite is Misty Island Rescue. You know, for obvious reasons. What's your favourite video you've done? Ooh! I don't, uh, unfortunately, I don't really have a favourite, honestly. And this is the last question of the video. Do you think the Mr. Men will get another television? As much as I do th would want them to, on the other hand, I'm not sure if they will because they've com they've not made a Mr. Men TV series in a while. I think the last time they did was the Mr. Men show. Plus, I feel like if they did make another Mr. Men TV show, it would probably be unfaithful to the source material. So, so there you go. That was all of the questions that were asked. Not really sure how to end this, but um, I hope you, I, I hope I delivered a valid answer or, or, or an acceptable answer to each one of your questions, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye, everyone.